What's up? Oh, it's good to see your faces. Hi, everyone. All right, so right before we get started, what I need you guys to do, please put your first name and your last name so we know who we are because we're taking names. Hello, twins, how are you? Good morning, Wendy, Andre. How are you guys doing? You guys all right? I miss you guys. You know, you guys look good, man. I miss you guys. All right, so we're gonna get started. This meeting is gonna be a little bit different from my ninth and 10th grade meeting. I hope I have like 400 uh, juniors. I'm mad there's only 47 people on this call. Hmm. Do me a favor, everybody. Text your friends who are juniors, tell them to get on this call. It's important. All right, put it on Facebook or Instagram or whatever and be like, Johnson's bugging, get on this Zoom call. All right, you know how I get down. And anybody who's new, I don't think there's any new 11th graders on here. If you're new, I don't know that because I can't see your face. Um, okay, oh, people will start. Yeah, so please put it out there. Ms. Johnson is bugging, get on this Zoom call right now because there is information that you guys need that I wanna give you. So we're gonna kind of go through this. Um, and then I'm gonna, I disabled the chat, but when we're done, we're gonna turn the chat on and you can raise your hand and you can ask any questions that you guys have, um, wh whatever it's about. But I'm gonna just start with this. One, I'm so happy to see your faces. I didn't think I was gonna get this excited to see you guys, I miss you guys. Um, I randomly, I do go to the building every day. Today, we didn't go to the building because they're cleaning it after election day. Um, but I walk through the building and it's kind of lonely because it's just me, the custodians, the assistant principals and the office staff. So it's probably like maybe 12 of us all together and a few teachers who come to the building. And I often find myself walking the hallway, just yelling, go to class, hurry up, what are you doing? And then like some of you are like, Ms. Johnson, you okay? And I'm like, no, I just kind of missed the kids. So I just randomly do that to make myself feel better and laugh. Um, and that's why some of you are my favorite because you still laugh at my jokes. The rest of you who look at me like I'm crazy and don't have your cameras on, all good. Again, all the people who have their cameras on, they get extra points. Um, so anyway, you guys, I miss you guys. So I wanted to, I don't know why I didn't think of doing this before in, in September. It, we just, it was just a lot going on. So I'm, well, you guys know this, those of you who have been at Cross, can you believe you're juniors now? Remember when you were little ninth graders, you're all scared and you were like two feet tall and now you're like juniors. Um, I know, right? You can't believe it, right, Abby? It's like, geez, right? Like, psh, mind blow. So anyway, I wanted to go over this. You guys remember that I usually have grade level meetings at the beginning of each marking period. So we were planning on having this grade level meeting because everybody was supposed to come back to school. Well, you know, whoever chose to come back for hybrid on Monday and because of COVID and the high numbers in New Haven, the health department decided that it was not safe for us to open schools um, for people to come back. So I wanted to still have this meeting just to kind of see you guys go over a couple of things and answer any questions. So the biggest question so far in these meetings has been, when are we coming back to school? When are we coming back to school? I don't know the answer to that. I will probably find out 10 minutes before you guys find out before it hits the news. So as soon as I know, you guys will know. I do know if when we do come back, most likely it will be in a hybrid model which is what we guys were gonna come back to on, on Monday. So I wanted to go over a couple of things because you know you guys are kind of like you know the old heads in the school and we have some new administrators that I wanted you guys to meet. Um, so if you are in the Business and Fine Arts Academy, your new assistant principal is Mr. Wojnarowski. Wave Mr. Waj. All right, he has replaced Mr. Patowski. Some of you may know this or be like, dude, where's Mr. P? Mr. P, I know, right? She's like, his name is like, yeah, where, what happened to him? Um, I was like, he grew hair in a, in a beard and a mustache. Uh, he became the principal at the sound school. So he is now a principal. He's like big time now. I just saw him the other day. Um, so he misses you guys. So he is no longer with us, but we have the awesome and wonderful Mr. Wojnarowski. And some of you may remember him last year because he was with us for 
for a little bit because he was covering for an administrator who was out for a couple of months. Um, and then, so Ms. Olson, Ms. Arboleda, Ms. Otero, those are the counselors for that academy. We had to make some shifts and changes with the counselor caseload. So some of your counselors may have changed. We've been working to put that on power school, but for some reason, I was just told you guys were not, um, you guys can't see it on power school, even though I can see it on power school. Um, so if you're not sure who your counselor is, just email one of us and we'll tell you. Okay, um, the next academy, if you go up. So if you're in, in International Academy, Ms. Brillante, she's still your assistant principal. Her Wi-Fi went out, so she's not on the call right now, but I'm sure once she gets it together, she'll get back on. Um, Ms. Dembski and Ms. Bruller, those are the counselors for that academy as well. Next, we have our Health and Culinary and Sciences Academy, you guys know Mr. Pilner. Mr. Pilner, okay, guys, so this is our third meeting. And every time we get on the meeting, Mr. Pilner is in a different spot. So one time he was on his deck, another time, I don't know, he was somewhere outside and now he's completely somewhere different. I'm excited to see where he's gonna be for the senior meeting, I can't wait. All right, so Mr., I'm, I'm sorry. So Ms. Monahan and Ms. Arboleda, you guys know them, wave. Those are the counselors for the Health and Culinary Academy. So whatever academy you're in, you can email one of those counselors and they'll tell you if they're your counselor or not, or you can email me. Now, in our Law and Public Service Academy, Mrs. Bonilla retired, you know, after 37 years, she retired. So now we have the awesome and wonderful Ms. Brunson. Wave Ms. Brunson right there. Um, she's coming to us from Betsy Ross School. So some of you may know her from back in the day. And if you don't, she's super cool and wonderful. So get to know her. Um, the counselors for that academy are Ms. Otero, Mr. Flanagan, and Ms. Bruller. Um, so again, if you're not sure, you can email one of them and they can tell you exactly who your counselor is. So you guys know Big G, Mr. McLeese, Mr. Miller, they're still there. We still have the same security. Um, some of this stuff in the, in, I'm, I'm gonna just kind of run through because I wanna really get to the meat and potatoes of what you guys really need to know. And I wanna get to you guys asking any questions you may have. I think that's important that you have FaceTime with me, with the counselors to ask any questions. Um, again, most of you, I know you guys, um, for any new juniors, I know we have a few new juniors. I don't know if they're on this call, um, but you guys know how we get down. Respect is important. Um, you guys, pretty much everybody on here, you guys know what to do because you're on the call on time, ready to rock and roll. Um, and you know what you need to do. Grades and attendance count. So this is not the spring. The reason why I'm saying this is this is really important because um, again, and this might not apply to you in particularly, but if it does take it, if it doesn't, and you're doing the right thing, you know, I'm just, you know, you know who it applies to. Grades and attendance count. This is not like the spring where you guys are like, okay, well, I got all A's and B's the first three marking periods. It doesn't matter. Um, that is not how it is now. Grades and attendance count just like if you were in regular school. This is your junior year. So this is a real critical year for you guys. This is a year where, you know, you're going to have your, your caseload is going to be heavy with a lot of your classes. You're going to be applying uh, for scholarships. You're going to be studying for the SAT or the um, ACT. You're going to be looking at colleges. You're going to really start to figure out your plan. This is not the year to be like, oh, I'm blowing off this class. Oh, you know what? I don't care if I get a C or I get a D. This is not the year to do that. So it's really important. What's more difficult for you guys, I think, is we're not in school. So the everyday thing that many of you are used to, oh, let me go run to Miss Arboleda and tell her I need this, or let me go run to Miss Monahan and ask her for that, or let me just go see, you know, uh, Mr. Pilner because I need X. You don't really have that luxury anymore because everything's online and the little things that you guys used to do, um, right, Miss McIntyre, come harass me in my in my office for passes and stuff. Yeah, you turned on your your camera. Now I know it's you picking on you. Um, you don't have that luxury because we don't see each other ever or anymore. And I muted you, girl, so you can't even say anything smart. Look at that, Monet. Yeah, don't unmute her, Miss Munoz. Even if she raises her hand, don't unmute her. 
<laughs> okay, I miss you. I never thought I would say that, but I do miss you, Miss McIntyre, I do. Um, so with that being said, a lot of you guys are really like proactive and you're like, I need my counselor, I need this, I need that. And you're not gonna necessarily have that immediate um, answers when you could just go to people because we're at home. So it's really important that you guys know who your counselors are, you're communicating with them, your assistant principals, your teachers, okay? Um, for those of you who are super shy, hence your cameras are off and you still didn't turn them on, um, and you know, who don't, who are ne not necessarily the like, I'm gonna annoy Ms. Johnson until I get what I want, all right? Or I'm gonna go to this place until I get what I need. Um, for my more shy juniors, you know, it's really important that you advocate and just don't hide behind your computer and hide behind, um, I'm home to make sure you get the support that you guys need. Okay, so communication is really, really important. All right, next slide. So Wellness Wednesdays, these are the days where your teachers are supposed to have office hours to help you. So where I know some of you would usually go like, oh, I would go see, you know, um, Mr. McKenney during lunch, or I would go see, um, you know, Miss Nelkin uh, right after school, or I know she was off second period and I had gym and my gym teacher would let me go, you know, whatever. You know, we don't have that luxury. So Wellness Wednesdays, you don't have live instruction. This is your time to make up work, to get help, to set up meetings with your counselors, with your teachers for whatever it is you need. And I do know, looking at some of you, I know for me, it's hard being home. I've been at work today. They just, the building was closed today. That's why I'm home. So I know I got totally tired of looking at, love my family, but I got real tired of looking at them every day, right? You get it, um, right? And you, you're like, oh my God, I just want to see different people, right? So this is that time. Go, you know, Mr. Ben, I need, I need help with this, you know, Mr. Mr. Marks, you know, can I meet with you for five minutes and things like that. This is your time to get that time. I'm available whenever I'm in the building. So if you email me or call me, um, Ms. Johnson, I need some FaceTime with you. I'm available and so are all the assistant principals. All right. We know that this is really hard for there's a there's a small group of kids who like the online and like being home on the computer but from what i'm what i'm hearing from most of the kids everybody kind of hates it how many people are like i'm ready to come back to school no okay some of you all right not really i'm just saying if corona was not like if corona's over and done how many people were like yeah definitely ready to come back okay maybe not Okay, maybe a little bit. All right. Um, so, you know, we recognize that we actually are, we have some interns, we have some social work interns who are um, at the building who are ready to work with you guys. So if you feel like I'm feeling a little depressed, I'm feeling a little sad. I just need somebody to talk to and I don't want to necessarily talk to my best friend or my counselor or whatever. We do have people who are trained, who are being trained, who can kind of just help walk you through you know, like just dealing with this, you know, being home, not having your regular routine of going out, going to school and doing the regular things that you guys can do. So we do have people to help you. Again, critical attendance is important. And that means many of you, as I'm looking at many of you on, on this call, uh, many of you are college bound, you wanna go to college. Um, New Haven promise, attend, they're not gonna, it's attendance counts. So it means that not only do you need to be on all your classes, but you also need to participate. Some of the things that the teachers of the 11th and 12th graders are telling me that, you know, you guys, not again, if this doesn't apply to you, don't take it personally. You'll log on, mic muted, camera off, not participating, teachers calling your name, calling your name, you're not answering, right? You're not, you know, teacher logs off, you're still logged on. Everybody else logs off, you're still logged on. And that teacher might mark you absent. And then you're calling me saying, oh, Ms. Johnson, Mr. Pilner, Ms. Ms. Munoz, uh, my teacher marked me absent. And then when I go to the teacher and they're like, yeah, well, I was calling her for 15, 20 minutes and she wasn't there. So really important that you guys are engaged, available and um, doing what you need to do, okay? So capstone, 
Oh, wait, no, this is for seniors. Next one. <laughs> Next slide. So making, yeah, because I did, we did the PowerPoint for juniors and seniors. So this year is critical. We would have probably already had two meetings with you guys to talk about what your plans are. So whether your plan, this is when many of you already kind of know what you want to do. Some of you don't. If you don't, that's okay. When I was a junior, if you would have told me that I would have been the principal of the largest high school in New Haven, Connecticut, the first thing I would have said is, where's New Haven? Why would I be in Connecticut? That's what I would have said if I was 16 years old. But at 42, here I am, love my job, miss you guys. So important to have a plan. Your plan, whether that means I wanna to go to college, a two or four year college, trade school, military, or just wanna work, start thinking about that, okay? If you're like, I wanna to go to college, but my parents don't have the money, I don't know how I'm gonna pay for it. There is New Haven Promise. If you go, yeah, but I kind of sucked my ninth grade year and 10th grade, so I don't have the GPA. We have, there are other ways to get you into school and get you money for school. So we have our college and career center. I was able to hire Ms. Straub and Ms. Bowman. Ms. Bowen, Ms. Bowman speaks Spanish. So the college and career center is officially open they will be there. They will have virtual hours. While you can't come to the building yet, they will have virtual hours. They're there to help you with your college essays, Naviance, um, College Board, studying for your SATs. If you have a college essay that you just need somebody to read and tell me what you think, if you don't know what college to go to, there's software, there's programs where they can help you and say, okay, go to this website or Naviance and it'll give you like, kind of like a survey of what you're interested in and you kind of put that information in there and they'll pop out, well, these are some schools that may be in, of interest to you, all right? Um, they will help you write your resume, your college essay. They will help you apply for scholarships. Um, again, this is not, notice it says college and career. So don't think like, ah, I'm not going to college, so they can't help me. Um, you know, if you're interested in the military, they also have the military come in and recruit and they can help you, you know, connect you with somebody if you're interested. Even if you're, even if you have no clue what you want to do, the College and Career Center can kind of help you figure that out. Okay, so they also have job opportunities. Um, they can help you figure out internships and things like that. Um, for our students who may say, oh, well, you know, I'm undocumented. I don't have papers, so I can't go to college. One, that is not true. Yes, you can. And we have a lot of information um, for you um, to help you do that, okay? So the College and Career Center is for everybody. It does not matter whether you want to go to college or you just want to get into a career, okay? So some scholarship opportunities. And I'm gonna post this uh, website and I'll have, we'll email it to your NHPS website so you can see it. Right now it's critical because I don't know about you, but when I was in college, my parents didn't have 20, 30, 40, $50,000 sitting in the bank to send me to college. And they could just write a check and be like, go. Um, and you know, so not everybody has that. If you do, great for you, wonderful. Um, but if you don't, now is the time to start looking into scholarship opportunities, okay? So again, check with your counselor, Naviance, the Career Center. There, I put some websites on here for you guys so you can start looking at them, all right? So it's really critical. Don't wait until your senior year to start looking for scholarships because I'm gonna tell you, $100 here, $500 there, $1,000 here, $250 there, all of that money adds up. Okay, so again, this year is kind of crazy because we're in the middle of a pandemic and we are all doing school in a way that we've never done before. And it's hard. Um, and I think not only is it, is it hard in general, but it's also hard like emotionally. Um, so it is critical if you are like feeling whether sad, depressed, like I'm just like not motivated or whatever find a teacher, me, one of the assistant principals, your counselors to have that conversation with so we can try to support you. Because sometimes it's just a matter of, you know what? Yeah, let's talk once a week. You know, let's, let me, let me talk to somebody who is, I'm not staring at all day long in my house, who's like making me roll my eyes or anything like that, right? 
exactly. So I get that. So we're here to support you. Um, again, if it's not one of us on this call, if you have a teacher, you know, reach out to them, a friend. Um, and it's really important, even when you don't feel like it, that you're in class because now I saw this thing on Facebook, which kind of made me laugh. And they said, you know, like if you skip class at cross, right, you would like go to a lunch wave or, you know, go to another teacher's classroom, or if you were really bold, walk around the building and I'm screaming at you to go to class and 20 minutes later, right? Where now it's the easiest way to skip is you just like mute your mic and turn your camera off, right? That's what like people do now. It's really important that when you feel like doing that, that you don't and you fight that urge because it's so easy um, now because you're home, all right? So it's really, you know, so we wanna be supportive of you in whichever way you guys need, okay? Next slide. So again, you guys know that get good friends, support each other, be there for each other. If you see, you know what, you guys, did you guys text your friends that are juniors and tell them they're supposed to be on this call? Because only 20 people, only 20 people came on since I told you to do that. Right? Abby, did you? No, Abby, you're grabbing your phone now. Text, text your home boy. I, I know who your friends are. They're not on here. I don't see them. Text them right now. Tell them to get on here. I'm going to go to their house. All right. Thank you, Zai Marie, for doing that. I could tell she was like, Shh, get on there. All right, everybody else, admin, did you text your folks? You did? Do it now, admin. Look, admin, Shh, you and Abby, you too. Jeez Louise, I'm, what am I going to do with you guys? All right. So, and I know Alicia, I know McIntyre, I know you texted somebody. Hey, Jazara, how you doing, girl? I didn't see you. Hi, everybody. Hi, Destiny. I'm glad to see you. Yeah, text your people who are juniors who are supposed to be on this call. All right. It's important information. Wednesday is not free for a Wednesday. It's just, Wednesday is not, oh, I don't have to do anything. All right. So again, we have a lot of supports for you. I know it's hard, but we are here for you if you need them. Okay. Our next slide. So with that being said, I do want to share with you that there was, if you signed up for the SAT this Saturday at Cross, it has been canceled at the building. So if you did, um, if you did do that, um, you're going to have to go onto College Board and you're going to have to um, go to another testing location. So if you did sign up for the SAT this Saturday, um, it has been canceled. It was actually canceled a couple weeks ago, but I just found out that um, I don't people, it was not communicated to the people who signed up. Um, so if you did sign up, um, you have to go back onto College Board and sign up for a different location. There will not be SAT testing at Wilbur Cross um, today, I mean this Saturday. Okay, so any questions that you guys have, you can either raise your little hand and we'll unmute you or you can write it in the chat. So what they'll be able to do, Ms. Johnson, is they'll oh. be able to raise their hand and then we'll call on them and they'll be able to unmute themselves. Okay, well, there, then that's the directions you heard, Miss Munoz. She's not playing. Miss Johnson, just one thing um, with, uh, about the SAT. That's that's across New Haven District. So yeah, yeah. Yep. No, not just crossing. Yeah. Th so cross. So just so you guys know, cross is a College Board site to do the SATs. So they basically just like they literally just rent the building to do it on Saturdays. It has nothing to do with like me, um, but they I the director, I think who's Mr. Lipinski, they canceled the SAT. So you would have to go to another site if you did sign up for it at Cross. I hope that made sense. All right, so questions, raise your little hands. McIntyre, girl, I know you got questions. Oh, Jesus, are we starting with her? Go ahead, go ahead, McIntyre. I, I, I feel like I shouldn't unmute her, but go ahead. I got a question, so let me tell you, let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> so, these wait, wait I'm going to make sure. Can I? Okay, wait, hold on. All right. I could, I could, oh, wait, unmute now. Unmute now. Just want to make sure I can mute you if I need to. Go ahead. Okay. These teachers out here, I'm not saying it's all the teachers, but some of these teachers, they be giving you work after work after work. And well, then they expect, they expect you to do work? No, work. let me tell you. No, now, now you're talking about those no. teachers. I'm no, firing them right now. Saying. Firing them right now. So. Look, now she got up out of bed. They be putting work, all the teachers together, they put so much work and they give you a certain day. And then when you Deadline? ask them to put your grade in, they be getting mad. Um, excuse me. Listen, okay. you expect me to hand in this work at a certain time. So I expect you to have my grade in by a certain time. 
A so, reason man, man, is it, was that a question or was that a statement? I'm at, no. Okay, now I'm actually. I wasn't sure because that really sounded like a statement to me. Sorry. Okay, my question is. Okay. Why do these teachers like? I don't even. I don't know. I don't even know how to put it. Like I, I'm in your head. So is your question like, why are they giving us so much work? Why do they expect us to do all these things? And then they take forever Damn. to grade everything. Oh my and god, they they said, get your teachers in order. Things. Is that what you mean? Yes. Okay. Can I answer that? Yes. Okay. You are a junior, which means you are one year from graduating, and we're trying to get you college and career ready. You are going to have work. It's your junior year. That's fine. Uh, now, hold on. Let me finish. Can I finish my question? Can I finish answering you? And then, then you can answer it. Like now she went back to bed. Like, get up, girl. So they are going to give you work. I do understand it is overwhelming. And let me ask you this question. Is it overwhelming because it's like so many of the, um, the Google Classroom notice, notices that for every yeah. little thing you get an email? Yeah. Is that part That's of what makes you so thing. like crazy town? I turn my I turn my notifications off though. I do too because I get them all. I got a thousand Google Classrooms. It's insane. So I understand. So is it because of all of the notices that it seems like overwhelming, or is it because it's it just really is a lot of work? It is a lot of work. Okay, but, but the you recognize you're right. in like a junior and you're like in honors classes and you know you're in like some of the yes, higher really level like classes, that. right? Huh? I do. Okay, I really so like that. Some, some of that comes with that territory, challenging. I can help you if you want, even though I don't want to give you my, my Google voice number because I feel like you'll text me in the middle of the night. You know, I can help you kind of figure out strategies to help you man manage some of that. And, okay. and this is a whole thing. I know it's harder because when you go to a class and you're sitting with that teacher and they give you the work and then you go to another class, it seems like there's a little... I don't know, in my mind, it feels like you have a little more time versus you could be sitting there and the next thing you know, you got 50 emails because every, everybody's posting stuff whenever and you're getting notices. So I'm gonna tell you what I told the teachers. Every day, make a list. These are the, you know, if you have 20 things you have to do, hey, what's up? Um, make a list of, okay, these are the five things that need to get done today. And look at your list and go, okay, you know what? If I have five assignments, from five teachers and they're all due on Friday, how can you chunk it? So you get, you know, one assignment done on Monday, one assignment done on Tuesday, one assignment done on Thursday and like that. So I can help you with that if you like, don't roll your eyes at me. It was, okay. Okay, all right, that's, but that's a good question. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna say, and I'm just taking a stab at it. And if there is a teacher who's like, you know, you've put work in and they haven't graded it over a month or something like that, then just don't call them out. Let me know or the assistant principal will deal with it. However, I'm gonna say this, taking a stab, if you hand in your work late. Then, then you got it, huh? then you got it. If my job- Right, right, got it. exactly. You so if you, you, in your work, you, so if you like gave it. in work late, you can't really you know, hassle a teacher for not grading it right away. Yeah, they could grade it whenever they feel like it, if it's okay. late. Mm -hmm. I okay. just, just want to make sure. Time. Okay, just want to make sure. Before the time is due. Okay. Before 11.59 p.m. All right, I'm going to mute you now. I love you, but I'm going to mute you. So instead of, so now that we're done with uh, the Johnson McIntyre comedy hour, but that was a good question. I'm glad you, I'm glad you brought that up because I know you guys are feeling a little, you know, overwhelmed with stuff like that. Other questions, go ahead. Un unmute yourself, Ms. Chambers. And now's the time to ask whatever you guys want. And your counselors are here. So if you have questions for your counselors, ask your counselors. And grownups, jump in. I don't have to be the one answering everything. <laughs> so um, basically, some of us live in like an environment where like we have younger siblings or younger people that we also have to help as well. And personally, my sister uh, goes to work and I have to help my niece and I have an AP class and a lot of honor classes, but I do my work because I don't want to like, just be like one of the kids that just be like use an excuse. So like, I still turn in my work, but there is work that is like really hard for me to do because while I'm in class, I'm running across my room helping my niece. And she's like, I need help, I need help. And I'm not gonna leave my niece hanging because so this I'm is my suggestion. Numb. And that's a great, and I'm glad you put that up. I'm glad you brought that up. So we recognize that all you need to do is have a conversation with your teachers 
So we know there's certain kids who are like, you know, my parents are at work and I kind of have to help my, my, my siblings. So if you don't feel comfortable reaching out to your teachers, let me know and I can, and you know, they'll work something out with you, understand. So this is why it's important Wednesdays. So like if you miss something on Tuesday cause you had to run and go help your niece and you miss something for that five minutes in class or whatever, then you would make sure you and that teacher have that relationship where you can say, okay, you know what, Ms. Johnson, and I might say to you, all right, Jazaria, on Wednesday during my office hours, come so I can go over that with you and help you do it. You know what I'm saying? So that that is, and because we, we recognize a lot of kids have that challenge, okay? But if we don't know and you don't say anything to the teacher, then the teacher can't help you. So if you don't say anything, I know that's why you're smiling, right? So if you don't say anything, you can't be mad at the teacher for being like, oh, why aren't you in class? Turn on your camera, blah, 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 blah. And who's on top of you? Because you're not communicating like, hey, I have this, I have this situation in my house. Okay. So the thing is, I did, I did tell them, like, I told them a lot of stuff. Like, okay. So then why don't we do this after this, call me or email me and I'll call you and then we can talk specific. Okay. Cause I don't want to talk specifically, you know, just like I wouldn't talk about you in front of the whole senior class. You know, I can't talk about my teachers in front of everybody. I can't talk bad okay. about them. Okay. All right. Anything else, any good questions you, any questions you guys have? I think this is great. Go for it. I missed you guys. Destiny. What's up? Wait, you can unmute Destiny. Well, since I started online school, I've been having issues with different types of things personally. Okay. Um, since I didn't get to pick out my schedule like I wanted to, since, you know, freshman year, I was a flop in high school because I was distracted. Sophomore year, I got better. And now I just been all about school. Cause yeah, I'm not you've been doing a great job. Yeah. Um, I have another okay my issue was I already had an art credit and my art teacher told me I only needed one art credit but I have art again I expected to go back to school and do art because I'm a physical learner and it's difficult for me to do art on the computer and I didn't have the supplies to do it so I've been missing things for her because I just got the supplies when I got my flu shot at the school so I have been trying to um catch up but it's difficult and I've been emailing you and guidance because I didn't know who my guidance counselor was at the beginning but I've been emailing everybody I can to try to change my schedule since did I respond to you or I didn't respond to you you've been busy so I no, wouldn't no, wait no if I didn't do if I didn't respond call me out I didn't respond to you no. and I love that you I love that you're so sweet you're such a sweet girl I love that you said that you've been busy like no, I, have, I didn't respond I messed up I should have I'm, I'm sorry I have no problem with art. It's just, it's hard when you're supposed to learn in your class yeah. physically what you're supposed to do. So also, Destiny, why don't we do this? Why don't, if I'll have your counselor call you so you could get, that sounds like more like a specific Destiny thing. Yeah. Why don't I have your, who, can somebody just look her up in power school? And Ms. Otero is my counselor. All right, I'm so sure. Ms. Otero, can you reach out to her when we're Be done fine. with this? Yeah, we, we, I've already reached out, but we can all talk again about okay. the art class. Okay. No problem. Now, um, I have a question. I'm listening. I had Italian freshman year and Arabic last year. I'm taking Arabic again. I'm past Arabic with an A minus. But. Everybody clap. Good job. We got to support each other. Is, why do I have to take another language class when I already took two language classes? So this is what we do. So, and if you decide to go to a state college, they want to see two years of the same language. Okay. Right. So they want to no see. Problem. I have no problem with having Italian. Um, I transferred out of one of my achieve classes. So, um, wait, Destiny, can we do this? Cause this sounds like very specific stuff for your schedule. So that can we make so either Miss Otero and I after this, because I have the junior meeting. So one of us will call you later, probably like after one o'clock, because after this, then we have a, we have the senior meeting. Okay? okay. So one of us will make sure we reach out to you today. All right. All right Any, but uh, but can you, they, can you email me first because I have to help my siblings with schoolwork too. Okay. No problem. There, I, I know your email because it's your ID number, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. Cool. 
All right. Anything else, you guys? Or if you just want to talk, I mean, just what are, what else other questions you guys may have? Go ahead, Gabriella. Hi. Okay. So I was just wondering, like, what do we have to do for the uh, applying for scholarships process? Like, other than I know we have to um, talk to our counselors about it and stuff, but like, is there anything else we have to do other than just reaching out? Can a counselor answer that? I think it really depends on the scholarship and what they're asking you to do, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know if there's a counselor, Ms. Demsky, Otero, Arboleta that can kind of answer that question. Can she repeat the question? What was the question about scholarships? She said, what does she have to do other than reach out to a counselor? What does she have to do to get scholarships? Like what's the scholarship process? She can go on the database or any of the websites provided on um, the slide before for the College and Career Center. A lot of scholarships are geared more towards um, seniors, but there are definitely scholarships that she can start applying to as a junior. So whatever scholarship she fits the demographic for, she's more than welcome to apply for it. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Any other questions? Now's the time. Listen, you have all of the guidance counselors, all of the administrators, like ask as many questions. You have us until probably about for another 10, 15 minutes if you need us. Go I ahead. have a question. What, oh wait, I'm sorry. Laverty had her hand up first and then whoever, after Laverty, then whoever said I have a question, you go next. Yeah, I have a really quick question. Speaking of uh, scholarships, should we start applying our junior year or do we start applying our senior year? That's just confusing to I me. I think it depends on the scholarship. So what I suggest, and counselors jump in on this, look at different scholarships. Some scholarships may say it's just for seniors who are going into their you know, freshman year of college. Some have it for juniors. Um, but I say just start looking so you know. So I will say that in the springtime, when we do have senior, uh, I'm sorry, junior meetings with you guys, we do go over this. So this is more geared towards um, actions that will take place in the spring. But like I said, if you if you see a scholarship and it says 11th and 12th grade students, and you have a 3.0 GPA and you're planning to be a teacher and that fits you, then go ahead and apply for it. The more scholarships you apply for, the earlier, the better. All right, thank you. No problem, and hi, Nina, I miss you. All right, next. Who was the person who kind of said I had a question, but I didn't, I didn't catch it. It was me, Ms. Johnson. Juliana, oh, you me on that. How you doing, girl? What's going on? I'm good. I have a question about community service hours. I don't know, I can't answer questions, but I can't see you, see you, see, if I can't see you. I look a mess. I can't, uh-uh, I can't show my face right now. Soon, 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 we'll be in person soon. But oh, goodness gracious. All right, Juliana, go ahead. What do you need? So I called the school, right? Because I'm a junior and we need 40 hours and I only have next year. And they said that the lady that's like, you know how when you walk into the guidance counselor, is that lady that's sitting right there? I think her name is Miss Ayala. Yeah. yeah, she told me where to go. She told me the website and everything. But I don't know where to do community service hours. Like I don't know if my guidance counselor is gonna approve. Like I don't I don't know where to go. I don't know because it's it's because all this COVID stuff, no one's really having outsiders come in to do it. And Miss Ayala said I needed to do like 20 or 25 by January and it's already November. So I don't Can know. I say oh. something about community service? That? Um, it's not required for graduation. It's only required for New Haven Promise. But it also looks good on your college transcript as well. It looks very good on your child college transcript and your, and your resume if you have community service hours. Correct. I just like to make that um, no. So also, I would say oh. that the 20 hours is really for, by January, is for seniors. However, it's always good to start getting your hours in if you haven't started yet, because the list that is on New Haven Promises webpage under service requirements is supposed to be a list that is allowing you to work during COVID. So keep working through those organizations because those are the ones that they will definitely approve hours for. Remember, they cannot be hours at a church or at a school. 
they have to be through one of the community agencies. So even if you get, you know, 15 hours this year, that's helpful. But obviously, this is a more challenging year. The 20 hours by January is really for seniors if they have not gotten their hours done. But I would jump on whatever you can when you can. Okay, so how do I like see the 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 like the places to go? Because I don't have you that. go to newhavenpromise.org and click on service requirements and it lists every organization there that they accept. It's a blue box that says service requirements on their homepage. Newhavenpromise.org. Okay, thank you. Juliana, it's Mrs. Monahan. We can help you if you'd like. Oh, yeah, you're my guidance counselor, right? Because I see that on Power School. Okay, so, yes, yeah, so I will um, email you the link of all the places that are approved and open right now. Okay, thank you. Can you you're put welcome. that, Ms. Monahan, can you put that link in the chat so everybody can see it? Please. Ms. Munoz did. Uh, she's the only one who has access to the yeah. chat. Okay. Ms. Munoz. Yeah, I just put in newhavenpromise.org. Yeah, and it's. Thanks. You're welcome, Angel. It's also under the guidance website on Watercross High School website. If you go to Watercross and go to guidance, there's a link right there with all the places to do services. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, any other questions that you guys may have? Now, you have all of us on here. Please ask as many questions as you feel you need. I don't care, you know. There's a there's a hand up. You know, whatever it is. Yeah, you I, have a, I have a question. Go ahead. How do I, if I wanna take spring classes at Gateway, how do I sign up? You're gonna contact Julie Reinshagen I don't know how to spell her name, Cora. Can you put her email in the chat? I got an email saying you could take classes, but I don't know how to sign up. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm going to email you, the person, Julie Reinshag, and she's the ISSP and College Before College um, coordinator. So email her. She will then tell you what the process is because depending, you can either take classes at Gateway Yale, New Haven, uh, University of New Haven, and what's, I'm missing one. Yale, Southern, Gateway, and University of New Haven. Um, you know, but there's, there's a process to that. So she will walk you through that process. And hasn't, ha hasn't there been a couple of you guys who've taken a, oh no, cause you can only do it in your junior year. So Zy, oh, Zy Marie, you took, you've taken a, a college before college class. So you can maybe reach out to each other and she can talk to you just what her experience was, was like. So remember when you sign up for a college class on campus, it is not the same as high school. You're literally in that class with college students and a college professor, okay? All right, any other questions you guys have? No? Dylan, did you have a question? Oh, Zay Marie, go ahead. So now, um, this is just like a comment for like the college class. Um, we're only doing online or live online. So for live online, I do like Zoom with your professor and like all your other classmates. But online, it'd be like, you don't need to go. It's like not specific live. So you can just do online without having to go to Zoom or anything like that. Oh, so it's just like assignments and stuff that they put up that you have to yeah, read? Yeah, it's pretty much that. Like similar to like the spring where like we didn't need to do any Zooms or anything like that. But um, yeah, so those are the only two options you can, yeah, uh, options that are available because you can't take um, regular a regular college class because you can't go to campus yet, so. All right, thank you. Um, any other questions you guys have for any of us? That one, again. Please. McIntyre, what's I up? I can't see my GPA on Power School, like the um, point, two point, four point. Your GP. so do you need a copy of your transcript? Sure. Because it's on there. So 
email, just do this, email me and I'll send you, when I get off all of these Zoom meetings, I'll, I'll email you a copy of your transcript and it'll have your GPA from last year. I need that too. I can't see my GPA neither. I just said, email me your, yeah. thing and I'll send your transcript, girl. Come Any on. of okay. us as counselors can get that to you. So if you know who your counselor is, just reach out to us and we'll- Oh be yeah, yeah. To email your counselor. Too. Don't email me. Email you. You already told me I can email you or somebody email you anyway, period. <laughs> You know what? Hold on. Let me mute you now. <laughs> All right. Any other questions, comments? Good for the group. How are you guys feeling? It kind of does. It, is it me or doesn't it just feel good for us just to be together and talk a little bit? Right. I should do this more often. It's kind of awkward a little bit because you know everybody's just. I don't think everybody has questions. That's know? okay. But you know what? Enough of you have some questions, and maybe the people who didn't have questions, you ask. They people ask questions to help. All right. Well, listen, anything else, counselors, admin, anything else you want us to share before we log off? Yeah, okay. Justin. Question. Who's that? Um, me, Sit Wally. Hi, Sit Wally. Hi. Um, so I have a question about um, volunteer hours. Like, can we do them at different places and it'll still count? Or do we have to do all our hours at one place? No, you could do them at different places. You just, depending on what you need the hours for. So if you need the hours for New Haven Promise, they're very clear on what kind of hours they will take. You know, so like New Haven Promise, if you come to the school and you help me like answer phones or stuff, envelopes and stuff like that, they won't take those kind of, um, those kind of community service hours. Um, but, you know, another scholarship may take them. So I, I don't, does that make sense? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome, hon. All right. Mr. Pill. I have a question. Oh, wait, who's that? Angel. Angel, what's good, man? Hello. Um, I have a question about Best Buddies. Okay. I mean, Best Buddies, will that count as um, community service hours or not? It can um email who's Miss Bonanno email Miss Bonanno because if you do stuff after school and not on school time it sh it should just touch base with her. Oh okay because I emailed her asking her about when do the meetings start and I haven't gotten a response yet. Did you email the NHPS account or her other account? Yeah, yeah email, I'll tell her to check that she doesn't email here. I'm gonna send you. Oh, and I got your mask. The mask you wanted. I know. Remember the mask of the soccer team one, the one that says governors? Yeah, I got it. Gosh, I'll be at the school. Let me know. Come drop it by my window. I'll be there tomorrow between 8 and 8.30 and, and 2.30. All right. We have class. We'll figure it out. We'll <laughs> later. All right. Okay. Um, anything yes. else for the group grown-ups that you wanted to share? Yes, Johnson um, or or Juno class, I want to share two things with you. Number one, um, we don't know what the school year looks like. However, start thinking about um, SAT, SAT school day for 2021, which is March 28th. And also your next generation science assessment, um, where we are planning for those assessments for, um, for spring. Um, so know that you're in English three and chemistry, pay attention, take notes. Your teachers will be talking to you about things. So again, you will get some more information about it, but start thinking about um, SAT school day for spring um, 2021. Ms. Johnson. Yes. I have a question. Go ahead. So for uh, some students that have jobs, does that count towards like the New Haven Promise as well? No, if you're getting paid to do something, that's not community service. Okay. Community service is stuff you do on your own that you don't get something for. Okay. So if you have a job, no, that's not community service hours because you're getting paid to do that. You know, now if you go and you go and you volunteer at a daycare or something like that or a soup kitchen, and you're giving service and you're not getting paid for it, then that's community service, okay? All right, my people. I don't know if there's anything else. Counselors, anything else you need to share? Nope. All right. You guys, 
this has been, I've had a lot of fun with you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get off the call now because we have our seniors. Thank you, everyone. You guys are awesome. I miss you even more now. Even you, McIntyre. Um, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Um, <laughs> I'll okay. talk to you guys later. Be well. Email, call us, even if you just want to just be like, hey,